In other news tonight, backlash over budget cuts in dairy continues. Tonight, a petition went before town councillors asking them to reverse the several cuts passed last month. WMUR's Mike Cronin joins us live now in Derry. Mike. Well, you may remember there have been some contentious meetings here over the past month, and now a petition has been submitted with hundreds of signatures on it. And now the town council has agreed to hire an outside law firm, and they'll be paying up to $10,000 to that law firm to determine whether or not this petition is valid. Derry's fire station on Hampstead Road is scheduled to close next week as the town's new fiscal year begins July 1st. Along with the station closing comes budget cuts to public safety departments and the layoffs of fire and police positions. But residents aren't giving up. I don't have any objection to having my taxes cut. My objection is you didn't give me a good reason. Last month, the town council voted 4-3 to three in favor of the cuts. In response, people formed a petition with more than 800 signatures asking the council to reverse the cuts. In a special meeting tonight, councilors read the petition and agreed to hire law firm Divine Millimit of Manchester to decide whether the petition is valid. And I think it's important that we get an outside law firm. We have an excellent law firm that we do a lot of work with, but um, I think in, in this case we really want somebody that's kind of neutral. If the law firm says the petition is valid, then councilors will have a chance to reverse the cuts. If councilors don't make changes, then residents get to decide in a special election whether the cuts stand. Well, I think they're just trying to wear people down. I don't think it's going to happen. I was a little surprised that now they're shuffling it to an attorney to, I don't know, look at the signatures again. To me, it looks like a delaying tactic to have to hire an outside law firm. We have legal counsel right here in Derry. The council says a decision will be made next month after the cuts take effect. Once it's valid or, or not valid, then we'll take it from there. Councilors are hoping that the law firm can make a decision by the council's July 7th meeting. Live in Derry, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.